Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you're down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of videos I make for data science. <clears throat> so today's topic is all about uh, saving an Excel file inside of S3. So suppose many times what happened is that whenever you are doing a data science project, you have to save the reports out of the file. So you are creating some outputs and you need to sh showcase them in your stakeholders. In that case, what you can do is that you can create a particular file, Excel file, and save it inside of that file, and uh, that you can show to your uh, stakeholders. So that is the process. So for this, what you have to do, you have to create an Excel file where you are going to save the different different outputs in different different sheets of the Excel. So you can see that I have a blank Excel. So in this blank Excel, this is sheet one, this is sheet two, and this is sheet three. So in the sheet one you can save something in sheet two you can save some outputs sheet three you can save some output and at the end you can just send this particular excel to your uh, manager or to your stakeholder then they can visualize the things uh, do different kind of stuff on top of that so that's the process so for this what you have to do for this we have to use the s3 itself so in this particular example we'll create two different uh, data frame files okay and after we create those data frames we we are going to save those two files in two different excel sheets and then we are going to save the whole thing inside of the s3 bucket that's the objective so i have already created the codes so i can explain the codes to you so the first code is basically importing the basic libraries like pandas the excel writer from pandas okay open py excel Photo 3 which is used to save the different different files inside the S3 or you can do different kind of communication with S3 bucket using this particular package called Boto 3 okay import IO so these are the AWS specific uh, packages IO and Boto 3 so first I import this all the uh, packages after that we are going to initialize the Excel writer so for this what you have to do output equals to output io dot bytes io okay then you have to use the writer the excel writer then you can mention engine as open by excel so here we are going to basically initiate the writer and we are going to save the different different files inside of this writer so if i just run this cell so you can see that over here i created a sample file pandas data frame so over here there are three columns name articles and the improved and this is the different different uh, rows basically sam raju show more this is the different row number like 9862800201051000 so this is the different different file number so if i just run this cell again yeah you can see that the output it is showing over here the same i'm going to create another data frame or sample data frame this is this data frame 2 so the names are little different here and the column values are little different here so articles improved so these things are different so what we are going to do is that the data frame 1 which is this and the data frame 2 which is this we are going to save these two data frame inside of the excel in two different sheets and we are going to save the whole excel inside of the uh, s3 bucket so that is what we are going to do so you can see that saving individual files in excel writer with different sheet names okay so here you can mention different different sheet names over here so i have kept the uh, default sheet name that's the sheet one that's the sheet two and df1 to excel we have given and df2 to excel we have given so writer sheet name index equal to false so in that way what we do we are going to save those df1 df2 inside of excel to excel you have to use the excel writer over here that's it so we are writing it then we need to save this file so writer dot save okay if you do that that it is going to save all the files inside of the writer and the writer itself is going to save over then what you have to do you have to save this particular writer like uh, this file inside of a s3 bucket so that's why you have to use this particular code here so over here i have given the bucket name 
okay and the file path basically so inside of this particular bucket in which folder uh, this file test file is going to save you can change the file name as per your wish but i have just kept it simple and put it as a test file over here so and you have to use this in this way so you have to initiate the std source and the object you have to use and get the value out of it output in that way if you write it and if you run this particular cell it is going to save this particular uh, test file inside of the s2 bucket okay so before i run this particular cell i'm going to showcase you the s3 bucket right now so you can see this this is the s2 bucket and there is you know any folder called uh, like this folder like test folder okay you can see that there are zip file.zip unzip file these two uh, this is a file this is the folder is there but test folder is not there okay so if i run this cell you can see that it is going to create that particular test folder and you can also get the test file inside of this particular folder so if i run this cell you can see that it has been run properly and it has saved all these things inside of the stream so if i just go in this tab and if i uh, reload this particular tab you can see that this particular folder has been created so if i go to the folder you will find this uh test file dot xlsx so this is the excel file okay so if i download this file show you okay so if i open this file now protected view Try to open it again. Okay, so now we can see that I have opened this particular file. So you can see that this particular data frame has been saved over here in the sheet one. And if I go to the sheet two, you can see that this particular data frame is saved over here. So that's the beauty of the Excel writer and I combine it with the stream bucket and you can save it directly inside of it. So I hope you like the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and see different different videos I make for data science. I'm going to put this particular uh, particular like uh, notebook inside of my GitHub. I'm going to give the link over in the description. You can just check out check it out whenever you need it. You can just refer and refer to this particular notebook and you can uh do this, this sort of things thank you for watching my video thank you